Welcome, everybody. My name is Colton from Zim2 Capital. Today, I'm here with President of Commerce Resources, Chris Grove. Chris, thanks for coming in. My pleasure. Thank you, Colton. So you had news out yesterday that you're producing 1.2 kilograms of REO mixed concentrate for a global producer, uh, or sorry, processor. Maybe you could just recap the importance of that and, and the importance of this for Commerce Resources. Absolutely. Absolutely. We are very excited to have produced this 1.2 kilograms of a mixed rare earth carbonate grading uh, 52% total rare earth oxides. And as you said, yes, we are delivering this to uh, three uh, companies. One is uh, the world's largest rare earth element processor that is not Chinese. Another one would be the second largest processor of rare earth elements that is not Chinese, and that's a Canadian company. And then uh, thirdly, uh, delivering uh, a sample of this to an emerging uh, rare earth element uh, processor. And uh, so we're very excited about finally having this produced at our facilities at Hazen Research in Colorado. And another important thing is the neodymium content. Maybe you could talk about that and, and why that's so important for commerce. Sure, absolutely. So in terms of the downstream market for rare earth elements, by far the most valuable and the highest and best use for rare earth elements is in the manufacture of permanent magnets, right. which are then essential for everything from, uh, as the world continues this sea change transition over from dependency on fossil fuels over to renewables and electric vehicles. So you're talking about the magnets in a wind turbine, right. in, a, in an electric vehicle, and then in an MRI and all of these different applications. And so um, a high percentage of NDPR, neodymium praseodymium, of 21.9%, which was the percentage in the sample, that's very high and very attractive to everyone in the industry of manufacturing permanent magnets. Yeah, and it sounds like there's a few different companies pulling your legs trying to get some concentrate as you mentioned in here that there's uh you're in the process of producing another amount of rec concentrate for additional third-party requests so maybe you could speak on that how's that going is there yeah any update there or yeah we yes thank you and uh we will continue producing material although i have to say that i'm very optimistic that with this original production mm -hmm. of the 1.2 kilograms that we may be ultimately successful in the kind of partnership deal that we've been looking for for 10 years mm -hmm. basically and uh, that was another interesting thing, I must say, in terms of the increased industry interest expressed in the Ashram project, mainly not just because we have produced this sample yesterday and announced this, but we've been producing this material for six months now. Mm -hmm. The first sample of this we announced producing in March of this year, and that has brought in arguably more industry interest in potentially partnering with us. Yeah, so it sounds like commerce is kind of ramping up. Um, there's getting a lot of interest. Is there anything else shareholders should look forward to coming up in the next year? Um, absolutely. So uh, we will continue uh, to release uh, metallurgical optimizations or results from the metallurgical optimization programs that have been underway, uh, some financed by Quebec, some financed by Canada. Uh, in terms of the federal budget uh, released in April of this year, there was three and a half, I think it's now $3.8 billion put aside for uh, development of critical minerals projects. And we certainly look forward to uh, more news about where that capital is being deployed. Uh, on our side, we are very excited about uh, the interest that was expressed last week at the first in-person Rare Earth Element Conference in three years, and we hope to have something newsworthy uh, uh, coming out from those meetings we had last week. Great. Well, thanks for coming in and explaining this. I know some people who aren't you know, super, super in on the uh, percentage concentrate and things like that, um, this is made it a lot easier to understand. Um, if you want to meet Chris as well, and you're in Europe, we're going to Europe for the European road trip, and Chris will be in all the cities we're attending, so Geneva, Zurich, Frankfurt, and Munich, so you can talk to him, ask about the news, and um, get an update. So thanks for coming in, Chris, and we hope to speak soon. My pleasure. Thank you, Colton.